Probably dead. So I'm sitting in the back. Flight right crosswind, everything's looking good. And 7 Hotel Pop, we'd like to return to the airport. So I'm just chilling here at Gillespie at High Performance while they're working on the plane. And look who rolls up. What's up? Sam's hat. <laughs> <laughs> I think I lost my hat on the runway. I, I think when I opened the door rolling out, it, it flew off my lap and into the runway. So this is like honestly some of the best ice cream I've ever had. All right, dude. It's awesome. Good to see you, man. That was a nice surprise. Days. See you in Reno in a couple days. Sounds good. Peace out. See ya. Later. See you in Reno, See you in Reno in a couple days. Couple days. They basically redid all the wiring between the alternator and the voltage regulator and the bus. So hopefully that's the end of it now. We're gonna get some fuel and head up to the Reno Air Races. Hey, grab Bonanza 7 Hotel Pop is ready to taxi at Circle while you're working on that squawk. Bonanza 7 Hotel Pop, Roger, runway 2 right taxi to Charlie. Two seven right via Charlie, seven hotel Papa. Stand to seven hotel Papa. Remain outside the class Bravo. Expect a right down one departure. Departure frequency is one two five point three. Squawk zero two one six. It will re remain outside the Bravo. Expect a right down one two five point three zero two one six. Bonanza three six seven hotel Papa. The seven hotel Papa readback is correct. Notify tower you are via far flight following. Seven hotel Papa, good day. Gillespie Tower Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa, ready to go 27 right with VFR flight following. Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa, Gillespie Tower, make right downwind departure, runway 27 right, clear for takeoff. Right downwind, 27 right, clear for takeoff, Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa. Okay, that guy's going for the parallel, so we're clear. And, uh, yeah, this is fun. Last time I took off here in this airplane was uh, right after I finished flying around the world. Got a slight right crosswind, everything's looking good. Traffic, 2 o'clock, same altitude, 0 miles. They're gonna say so far so good, but there goes the alternator again. So, who knows? And how many of the seven hotel pump? We'd actually like to come back for a full stop. Angle as we saw, um, two four eight, four six two. Bonanza 7 Hotel Papa, contact no. SoCal departure. Yeah, 7 Hotel Papa, we'd like to return to the airport. Bonanza 7 Hotel Papa, Roger right traffic, runway 27 right, cleared to land. Right traffic, 27 right, cleared to land. Cleared to land, 7 Hotel Papa. So, I'm just gonna put this on the ground back here, let them figure it out, and I'll find another way to Reno. Contact tower, 12320. 12.8, 12.8. Two problems. The alternator quit on takeoff, and the standby looks like it does exactly the same thing as the last standby did. <laughs> okay, so yesterday, got all ready to go. The plane was supposed to be working. They replaced all the wiring, had taken it for a test flight. Alternator worked. They put on a new standby alternator because they thought the other one wasn't working. And then I took off this standby was doing the same thing that the other one was doing and the alternator failed on takeoff. So it turns out both standbys were actually working. There was just a broken fuse that made them think the first one wasn't working, but it might be time to replace that anyway. But the alternator didn't work. So now they're working on that. They think they might have found the problem, but I'm not taking any chances. So 
David and Austin rolled up in the G36. We're gonna head up to San Jose, pick up Owen, and then head to Reno. 94 Niner Bravo Papa, clear to the Romeo Hotel Victor Airport on departure turn right heading 320 Reno Victor's Oceanside DOR as filed. Maintain 3000, expect 10000 one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 125.3, travel sense one. We good back there, Austin? Tower, Bonanza, 9499 Bravo Papa, 15 miles to the southeast, inbound with information, Bravo, 6,000. 737. Bonanza, 9 Bravo Papa, straight in, runway 2 and right, 4 right. Straight in, runway 2 and right, 2 5 So we made it to uh, San Jose. Can you grab this guy? And that is, that's how you get fuel in San Jose. Let's go to Reno, baby! <laughs> okay guys, so there are so many airplanes here that we just stop right on the taxiway and they're just parking people everywhere. It's pretty cool. So we're here at the 55th Yep. Reno Air Races, the National Championship Air Races, just like this awesome event where people from all over the country, all over the world, come to Nevada to race airplanes. It's a pretty complex event and so cool. Basically, there are six classes of aircraft Formula Ones, the Sports, the Biplanes, T6s the jets and the unlimited. So there's like different classes of aircraft so that you know you can compete in everything from like tiny home builds all the way up to like some pretty cool jets. There's really nothing else like this anywhere else in the world. Um, you know, just like head to head racing going 400 miles an hour, 50 feet above the desert. It's just incredible. And uh, I'd really like to do it next year. So my buddy Paul Downing over here is racing a uh, Lance Air 360 and he can tell you a little bit about that. There's nothing like it. It's hard to really describe, you know, it's formation flying, uh, it's uncooperative formation. So you're still, when you're coming around, pylons, things like that, and you're trying to pass them, but you're flying formation off of them. But unlike normal formation, they're not trying to make it easy for you, it's just a race. It's just the biggest adrenaline rush. Um, and the cool part is, you know, we're racing, we're out here, um, you know, pushing the planes, having to, you know, trying to beat each other. Much better, get down a little bit. But when we're done, you know, everyone's shaking hands, high-fiving, and just having a good time. But yeah, so we had a cool time at the races, a lot of fun, and now we're ready to head out. Huge shout out to uh, David and Austin for uh, picking us up. And now we're taking Rory home too. 
but uh, just doing some performance calculations, make sure we can get out of here at the high density altitude up here in Reno. Got some pretty cool views out here over like Lake Tahoe and the surrounding area. Center, Rory can give you the whole tour. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a nice little flight back to San Diego. I wish I was doing it in my plane. This is a little more comfortable anyway. Hey, of course, go check out Austin's channel. He's got some <laughs> awesome helicopter flying videos. Oh yeah, there's uh, some guy called SJC Spotter that always wants me to mention him in my video. Always asking for shout outs. Yeah. We made it to uh, we made it to San Jose. I'm gonna lose Home. This, this guy, SJC Spotter on Instagram. If you don't follow him, but he's spotter not a spotter. Turn, spotter turned pilot. Yeah, it's a whole thing. <laughs> and then we're gonna go on to San Diego, and they're gonna go to Yuma. We made it back. It's been a, it was a fun weekend. Got a lot done, got to see a lot. Hopefully my plane is in one of these hangars about to be completely fixed. <laughs> 